the most amazing videos, great quality, great content all around. Absolutely love her, so you have to check out her channel. We are going to be doing a Valentine's Day themed video, and when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of like sweets and cupcakes and sprinkles and just cutesy stuff like that, and donuts. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with pastries. So I decided to incorporate that into my room. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also there is a little bell where you can click on it and get notifications when I upload a video. And also, if you like this this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and now let's get started for these easy DIY pillows all you're gonna need is just colorful fabric scissors and a glue gun no stitching or sewing required for the donut pillow I'm going to grab brown fabric and I'm just gonna grab this bowl right here to measure how big I want it to be and then I'm gonna go ahead and fold the fabric four different times in order to get a circle out of it and then I'm just gonna simply go ahead and cut it out and while it's folded I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the center of the donut as well and then I'm gonna use that as a template to cut out the other side of the pillow and with fabric glue using a hot glue gun, I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue all around the donut, leaving a small space at the end in order for us to put in the stuffing. And once you turn the pillow inside out, you wanna go ahead and add glue to the center of the hole in order for it not to come out when you're adding in the stuffing. These are 100% customizable, so I'm going to use a pink fabric for the frosting. You can use whichever one you'd like. And then I'm just simply going to doodle on how I want the frosting to be on there and just kind of zigzag around it when I cut it for it to look a little bit messy and uneven because after all, it is frosting on a donut. And then in the center, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out as well, making sure that it's not like a perfect circle. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it with the hot glue, which dries in seconds. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. For these sprinkles, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out little rectangles. And I do want them to be long and skinny because I do want them to stand out on the donut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out different colors. You can choose whatever colors you like. These are just scraps from the other pillows that I'm gonna make. And now that all of our glue is dried, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the stuffing. And you can find stuffing at any craft store. It's super inexpensive, which makes this whole project super cheap. And once you are satisfied with the stuffing, just want to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to that last section to close it off. And now that we are done with our donut, let's make a macaroon pillow, which I am super excited about this one. It was my favorite pillow out of all of them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is trace out a circle. And if you feel like it's not big enough, you can go ahead and make it a little bit bigger by using a ruler and adding a couple inches to it. I decided to make it a little bit bigger. You do want this to be very even. That's why I popped out a ruler instead of just freehanding it like the donut because it doesn't have to be perfect with the donut. But with the macaroon, you're definitely going to be able to tell. Next. I went ahead and I cut out two different strips as long as a width of the circle around because we're going to add it directly to the circle. The strips that I cut out weren't perfectly as even as the circle so I just went ahead and I attached two of them together to make it just as long. And then I'm going to go ahead and add glue to the edge and I'm going to put both of those edges together and I'm going to do this all the way around of the macaroon and then I'm going to flip it on the other side and do it to the other side of the fabric as well. You want to continue to do this all the way around but you do want to leave a small little opening in order for you to turn it inside out and add the stuffing as well so once you are done you want to make sure that the glue is dry and then we're going to turn it inside out and we're going to begin adding the stuffing on there 
And once you're done, you want to go ahead and seal off that little opening with the hot glue gun. Now I'm going to show you how to make the frosting that kind of pops out in between. Is it the frosting? I'm not sure what it's called. But I'm just going to go ahead and grab this white piece of fabric and I'm going to make it as thick as possible. So the first thing that I'm going to do is fold it in in order for none of the stitching to show. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold it over again and glue it down together that way it's very thick and you didn't have to put layers on top of the other and it doesn't look bulky or uneven and then you just simply attach it to the side that I want to share with you guys is how to make a cupcake pillow so I'm just going to sketch out the shape of a cupcake it could be as big as you'd like just remember that when you add stuffing it does become a little bit less in width and then I'm gonna go ahead and just simply cut it out and just like the rest use a fabric hot glue gun and leave a little bit of space on the edge in order for me to turn it inside out prior to stuffing it when I see you there with what's your name But the memories come back to me Just turn my back Next, let's cut out the layers of frosting And I chose for it to be white You can choose whatever color frosting you'd like And glue each piece one at a time you don't want to forget about the bottom where it was open in order for you to put in the stuffing. So also make sure to seal that off. And then once you're done, we're going to cut out little rectangles like I did before with the donut sprinkles. And then just simply glue them on. It is super easy to do. The glue dries instantly and it doesn't come off. I've been really rough with these, just tossing them back and forth because I love them so much. And I noticed that the glue stayed on the whole time. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see more of what's coming along. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Which is this? Mwah! Uno, dos, tres. Ready? Hola! ¿Cómo están, lindas? El día de hoy tengo aquí mi amiga, nena. Y esta es una colaboración juntas. Y estoy pero súper emocionada porque ahorita van a ver 